When Tyler was three days old, he started getting this cough, and I was really worried. It kept persisting throughout the day, and I took him in, and they said, it's nothing. The next day, it was four times worse. We went back to the doctor, and they said, he's got bronchitis, and it was infection in his lungs, and they put him on antibiotics when he was four days old. Some of my earliest memories were going in and out of hospitals and seeing nothing but white coats. So 20 months old, just a toddler, we found out when what he really had and the devastating news that that brought because there's no cure for Tyler's illness. My immune system, uh, the system that is responsible for fighting off very common infections, doesn't function. Over the years, I've had a number of expiration dates put on my life, and that's what I like to call it. And um, I've outlived every one of those. Uh, I had been told I wasn't going to make it to my fifth birthday. Puberty was going to kill me. I was never going to make it to be uh, a college graduate, a high school graduate. And each time I've made it to one of those milestones and surpassed it, it's just been kind of sort of an in-your-face moment, if you will. He's had 34 surgeries in 19 years, but his main treatment is he gets an intravenous infusion of human proteins that his body cannot make. I receive plasma treatment every 21 days, and this will be a lifelong process for me. Um, and once, you know, it's a every seven to eight hour process for the rest of my life. And once I get my treatment, I have this new sense of life. I can now go out and do the things that I want to do. There is actually a shortage of blood donors and plasma donors in particular because it is a, it's a commitment, a time commitment, and I understand that people are very busy and they can't commit to, the, to 45 minutes to an hour and a half every two weeks. The number of people that it takes for me to survive is such an extraordinary number. And really, I'm not the only one. There are literally hundreds of thousands of people like Tyler that require this medication. Right now, I'm attending Georgetown University School of Medicine. And for the future, I plan on becoming a pediatric immunologist. It is going to take a number of years, but I'm going to walk in some of my fabulous physician's footsteps and go on and heal patients and let them know that there's hope out there and let them know that they could be the next Tyler Yates. And I'd like to thank donors from the bottom of my heart for giving me 23 years of my son and for allowing me to have another day, another month, another year, or another decade so that he can become the healer that he wants to become and I get to love him one more day. Thank you.